Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. I am not playing as the Italian Union, but that they're Russian. SFSR. Of course, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the great, most powerful proletariat mutual assistant pact. Cool. Cool. So, um, I, I, actually, I'll be honest with you guys, I've been looking at Eastern Europe right now, and I'm thinking, how am I going to divide this up? Because, you know, Russia, Russia, baby, has had sig historical, significant times, or, you know, relations, significant relations with the Serbs. Now, I could form another Yugoslavia, big old Serbia-dominated Balkan powder keg, but, hmm, maybe not this time. What I'm thinking, or at least for the peace deal, is I could maybe convince... Uh, I don't know. I don't want that many puppet states, but I do like having large puppets. Like, Hungary could take, like, back of all of former Croatia, as well as Slovenia. So this way, they would have access to the sea. Romania could do the same type of thing, but instead... Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe Hungary would just get all of this. We could have Bosnia. Bosnia under the Serbs, with Montenegro and Albania. And then Greece would just be this putrid, disgusting Greece stuff. With me owning Istanbul, Constantinople, just because, yes. Anyways, let's get, uh, let's continue our great campaign. Which, last time, we invaded Cascadia, which was amazing. Thank God for the Poles, and bless those Poles who gave the ultimate sacrifice for the invasion. Uh, we saw a literal civil war in the communist states of America with the un unaligned states of America still alive some... How... This is really the Socialist Republic of Germany? What type of flag is that? Ugh. Oh. Wait. Wait, Socialist Republic of Germany? You're the... Where are you? Oh, we took you over. That's right. We took you over. You were basically the Rhineland. That's all that they were at. God, it's been so long since we've actually, like, started the war and whatnot. So, I guess I'm just slightly confused. I have moved some more ships around. We have two out of five fleets here now. And this does incorporate some of the bad old ships we used to have. Um... Yeah, so, not too bad. I added in a new latest state-of-the-art Russian communist Trotskyist battle cruiser. Yes, baby. Look at all that attack. Look at that anti-air. Look at that... Oh, that's not really good speed. But, um, yeah. Armor, not not bad. Not great, but not bad. Design, one of these bad boys. Not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. It is a battle cruiser, so, cool. Uh, how is South America doing? We're doing very well. I have told my tanky marines to move and get close to Ecuador so that we can have a good time where there are two democratic divisions. And we'll do that. Let's see, we're doing very well, honestly, in South America at this point. We honestly might have too many soldiers down here. So I'm going to tell you guys to go ahead and I want to kind of gauge how these guys are doing. I don't want to send divisions to where they're just going to perish, especially these guys. They're looking very, very weak. South America is always a pain in the butt to fight through. Always a pain. Just like Asia, mainland Asia, as and uh, Cascadia. So, that's why we've decided to form another invasion group. Ah, I love it. So, you guys are almost completely done moving around the cabin around here. Actually, you come down over here take the radar. So this way, we can then use our ships to navally invade the west coast, because I already felt the requirements of invading through Alaska. Good job, guys. Good job, my poles. Uh, is that... That's a separate tile up there. Okay, cool. Workers prevail in the Second American Civil War. The revolution marches on towards inevitable vic victory, and then, I guess... What has gone on? Like, I guess they annexed the unaligned states? So what did that solve? They had a second civil war with the Confederacy, and we saw last time that these people were, like, the people from, like, Kaiserreich rebel, but not really rebel. Uh, oh, and I did tell some of you guys to actually go ahead and convoy raid. That's right. That's right. That's right. Cool. Um, nice destroyer. Oh, we can go to war with Ecuador, but we're not quite ready yet. Awesome. Can I lower the autonomy of anybody? I can annex the People's Democratic... Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Awesome. Pura could probably use a little bit more infrastructure. That's great. I have some tea here. No, I've not had had any coffee yet, even though I am slurring my words a little bit. And maybe sound a little bit en energetic. Oh, 13 planes. Oh, my goodness. They're really trying to bomb my stuff. Not today. No, no, no. Oh, actually, you might 
sink a battle cruiser. Um, that's not good. Oh, you're really trying to sink stuff now. That's really not good. Um, yeah, get these guys into here immediately. And then jet fighters. Ah, love it. You know what? Throw another 400 over here too, anyways. Well, with that, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, Pacific Northwest, we actually might do that. I want to tell... Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah, I want to tell you guys, all of you, since I'm sure some of you are taking some serious hits. Go ahead and stop doing this and this and that. I want everyone to come back down to Hawaii just because this is actually a really good place. Um, yeah. Keep doing that. Nice, so we have immigrants... Uh, just because... Ooh, we lost a... Ooh, we actually lost a destroyer and a convoy. Well, whatever. Just because a level 10 naval base would actually be very good for supply. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, cool. We lost another convoy, whatever. We lost another destroyer. Wow. And then we lost two dest Wow, two destroyers? Jeez. Ugh. Go ahead and move all to the naval base. Uh, for you guys... Actually, um, specifically, I'll move you over here just so that we don't clog up this area too much. You guys come over down to here to clog that area not too much, and then you guys come over here as well. That'll be good. That'll be really, really good. This way we separate where everyone is going a little bit, and that everyone can do a pretty good job repairing. Oh, nice. Yeah, planes. Planes are literally the best fleet, the best naval fleet you can have, so always got to be careful with that stuff. Always, always, always. Thanks for getting down there. Very nice. But up here, we are doing... Oh, oh, is that the carrier alone? Oh, oh, that's not good. Ships. Oh, we definitely need more of this. Three. Leningrad's good. Um, add two islands, okay. Line island, no thanks. There you go. Um, Northern Siberia. Actually, Northeast Siberia isn't too bad, even though the port itself isn't very good. Uh, I don't know why it can't do more. Honolulu obviously was a really good choice for us to make, even though we could probably use a little bit more than that. Um, Hawaii. I mean, just a lot of things are just in queue. So, yeah, I figured that we would eventually get hit eventually. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I mean, regardless, I mean, we still made it up here. We still got a pretty strong foothold over here. Take you guys. Take you guys off. Come this way. Take the mechanized as well. Uh, can they pierce us? Yes, they actually can. That really sucks. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's really not much you can do about that. Uh, actually, this is our original division we started with, and eh, we don't need that. Marines, or no, mech infantry. Yeah, their hardness is like 76%, but the Polish hardness is also 76%, but they can still pierce us. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, very interesting. So just go ahead and keep trying to take out Alaska. That'd be great for now. As our ships repair. Good, we got level 7 logistic companies. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we're still doing pretty well over here. Not bad, not bad. Eastern Canada. How are you doing? Well, you can't really compete against the enemies. Too much. So I'm going to throw you into the wolves again. 400 more jet fighters, which are really, really good. And do the same thing. Even though some of our guys are actually... Oh! Good job, Denmark. Good job. Uh, because of that, I'm going to go ahead and reward you as best as I possibly can. Yeah, do that. That'd be great. Cool, thanks. Cool, thanks. See you later. Um, -da -bum -bum -bum. You guys should be able to move right on in. No problems. There's only two divisions, so... They'll join the allies. No one cares. And the great, great lag. Let's see how this tea tastes today. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I was going to make coffee, but for some reason my body told me just to make tea. So, whatever. Uh, very good. Uh, eight more American convoys. Very good. More immigrants. I love immigrants. I love immigrants. Oh, it looks like we forgot how to defend some areas here. Nice. Nice, very good. Just keep on defending. Uh, Venezuela will fall pretty, hopefully very soon, but you know, you never know. To a degree, I'm just kind of, sort of waiting for my allies to actually do things. I can bait and whatnot. See, for Coast Guard, we already have all the coasts, pretty much. Ooh, actually. Ooh, baby, that lag. 
Um, oh, I already have it up here too. Good, 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 good. I'm already planning ahead. Mechanized divisions, regular Polish divisions. You are doing a great, great job. Very great. Take half a y'all. Take you three. Could you attack this tile next? Maybe, maybe not. They can still pierce us, which is really unfortunate, huh? Hardness is 76%. No, it doesn't look like we can really strike through here, which really sucks. So. In time, in time, we will. In time. These pesky Americans will have to falter, leave someday. I mean, if anything, if we can't really push through Alaska, obviously we're going to go through Mexico and this part of the United States. I'll probably invade Florida, Cuba, and stuff like that later on, so. No real problem, no real problem. I really want to push these guys out of here very, very badly, so. I have... 27 nukes. I had 27 nukes. So, uh, yeah. I'm tired of your BS over here, man. It's getting annoying. And what's the point of having nukes if you don't even use them, you know? Quito. It's a man probably like Ecuador. I've never played as Ecuador in any of my countries. Ugh. Well, a pretty good amount of manpower. They actually have three divisions. Wow. Three whole divisions. Cool. Uh, take a quick look at our ships. How are they all doing? Well, it's probably better to look this way. Well, Leningrad has a lot to repair. Mmm, co coffee. No, no, tea. A T word. Mm, who dares wins. Very nice, very nice. Honestly, I could probably reduce the amount of destroyers we have just because I don't need this much naval experience anymore. We're pretty much maxed out on what we can do in terms of training. So, and what I can actually upgrade on my ship. So, let's go ahead and take... Uh, you, we can probably get rid of these guys. I mean, these destroyers are actually pretty bad. So, and you're, they're just kind of clogging up the entire area here. Oh, we got another battle cruiser now. Hallelujah. 16 more subs. Throw them onto here. That'd be great. Uh, take you guys. Trash them. Uh, over here. That's fine. It's fine. And we'll get rid of one more. Cool. This way, that should drastically. That should drastically reduce the amount of dockyards we need for everyone and for them to repair so heavy ships 2.7 months wow 16 days six five i mean that is destroyers the carrier needs 2.1 months not bad not bad so does anyone explicitly right now need a battle cruiser or some sort of capital ship within their fleet or a task force i mean uh, yes, you actually, you guys actually do. So, that's a 10 group. Oh, we, we have two battle cruisers. I don't want to use two. Uh, just give them one for now. G give them the kill off. Take you guys. So you're four, ten, four combined. That'll be good. At least one capital ship per group. You guys already have it, so you guys can wait. Oh, two more subs. Um, yeah, throw you over here. Combine. Kowalski analysis. Awesome. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Actually, instead of more immigrants, since we were pretty good on manpower for right now, can I get faster naval construction repair speed? Navy modernization, naval experience gain, armaments, construction repair, naval production, dockyard output. I don't think that affects your repair speed. I could be wrong though. Does dockyard output actually fix you or help you with repair speed? I could suppress my subjects. I mean, I guess there's no nothing for repair speed, unless that's a dockyard thing. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments below. That'd be awesome if that actually does happen or does work, so. That'd be really cool. Oh, and finally, the Re Federal Republic of Venezuela has fallen to the proletariat. Much love, much love. No homo, but much love. Awesome, just push them in. At this point, I think these American divisions are dying pretty badly. I mean, we've suffered 8 million casualties. The Allies have suffered 32 and a half million, so that's pretty good. Comparatively. We have to capitulate Canada, which is fine, El Salvador, Mexico, which is fine, as well as the Communist States, so they've actually taken more losses than we have. Wait, Ecuador hasn't joined a faction yet, huh? Oh, and we found a few dis convoys around here. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did put my subs over here. That's, that's right. 
Very nice. A lot of good guys. Uh, the, pro I, the problem with having so many puppets, though, is that they clog up the infrastructure so badly. It gets super annoying just trying to fight through here. So, I might actually remove one of these groups. You know what? You've done a great job, but you're causing a lot of supply issues. Thank you for your work. Thank you for contributions. Your check is maybe in the mail, if we can afford it. Alright, so, next up. 59. Modern mechanized infantry. Sure, why not? Maybe it actually will give us more armor, actually, than the 76% hardness that we already have. Armor's 30, hardness is 90%. Maybe that could help us out. And go ahead, guys. Just, like, straight up move into here. Like, because we need to move. Move, move, move. Oh, baby. Look at all this. Very nice. And yeah, not a lot of losses for the enemies, but whatever. How is Ecuador? Are you, do are you guys doing okay? Can you move this way? Can you get pierced? Oh, they, they can pierce you. Wow. What are these divisions using? Uh, they can pierce us. Wow, we must be taking a ton of attrition because they only have five to seven infantry battalions, but they can still pierce our tanks. I mean, we have 28% hardness, 72.6% 72.6 armor. Hmm. Makes you think. Oh, and you're already attacking. That's fine. We got some Romanian division. Thank you very much, Romania. Very cool. Subs, go ahead and throw yourself over here to the Saragossa Sea. Oh! Alright, Ecuador. Thank you very much for your contributions. I'm surprised they are democratic, but they didn't join the Allies. Very interesting. Alright. I moved my phone, so I can't see how much time we have left. Oh, it's about 17 minutes into the video. Uh, that's actually very good. Good job, guys. Now... I want to clear this area up, clear this part of Venezuela up, and then attack Colombia. So, this means that I can actually use these guys for what they were made to be used for. Invasion force. So, can we actually... Oh, we have to go around the entire country. The entire continent. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll attack there. And we'll take two more divisions. Two more divisions to help support. I can't imagine Panama having... Like an extreme, insane amount of divisions. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And you guys come from here, and finally take out... Oh, we already took out the Galapagos. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Cool. Send all six tanks that way. Uh, for you guys, just make it down here so that you don't suck up too much supply. That'll be good. Mmm. Mmm. That tea. The last taste of tea. Ooh. Very nice. More immigrants. Thank you very much. And another Polish mechanized division. I love it. Love it. Actually, you guys could probably come over here, maybe? Oh, you guys are suffering from a lack of supplies. You don't really matter, though. Not at the current moment. Ships. Ships. Oh, we're doing so much better on ships now. Support weapons, seven. Awesome. Alright, so these guys look pretty good to go ahead. Let's get some new technology. Happy 1954, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Um, yeah, more construction, because why not? Alright, so for everyone here, what we're going to try to do, even though I already told these guys to go invade Panama, we're going to try the invasion of Mexico and southern southwestern United States. These four areas should be the only regions that we need. And by God, I hope we I hope we do well. At least get us one port around here. If we can take San Diego or even LA, that'd be great. So, man, I hope you're ready. Vasily Chuikov. God, I hope you're ready for some extreme action. But you are a level 8 general, so I do have a little bit of confidence in him. And I told the men to go. Alright, boys, here we go. Oh, we need an operation name for this. Um, Operation... Let's say Operation Dehydration. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe maybe, I'll, maybe that'll be the title of this episode, yeah. Operation Dehydration. I don't know. That doesn't sound very cool, but... I don't know. It sounds kind of... It sounds okay. Operation Dehydration. 
These guys can't even get any supplies, so that's good. Ooh, port strikes? Oh, yes, please. Even though we're not really winning yet. Ooh, the Germans in there. Oh, no, there's a Republican Spaniards in their subs. Very nice. Field Hospital 1s. Awesome. More output. Yes, please. Right now, we're doing very well. We had a deficit of guns for quite a while, but now we're back up to a million, so... I don't mind getting rid of some of these guys right here. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Rocket artillery doing very, very well on those. Any extra planes that we don't really need to worry about that just clog up the list for this stuff. Dive bombers, I would love to use dive bombers. I've been trying to use them more and more often in my uh, off-screen playthroughs, and I and I really enjoy using them, so eh, for this, you can probably get rid of those guys. Heavy fighters are good. Don't want to get rid of them. Nice. Oh, we actually sunk. Ah, the pride of the Norwegian fleet. More immigrants have arrived. Very good. Oh, we sunk two more American ships. How many ships does America have left? Max of 30. Very nice. Ah, Korean division. Thank you. Alright, so we... we. Oh, God. Look at this invasion force. Alright, boys, here we go. What is the stats on Mexico? 11 ships. Some manpower. They don't know what mobilization law they're on. They have up to 40 divisions. Alright, then. We have landed. We've taken Mexican soil. Ensenada. Ensenada? We are attacking Ensenada. Go ahead and try to make your way down here as well. We are attacking LA. Oh. And San Diego, but I don't think we'll win here in San Diego. The areas around LA we're doing okay at. Immediately give them some extra support in LA. Oh, that's not good. We're not going to win there. Oh. Well then. Looks like we're going to need some sort of port. And you know what? There's a reason why I did it. I knew that not everyone would make it through. Ooh, four more jungle divisions. Uh, sure. Yeah, throw them on here. Oh, nice. A couple more enemy ships. I love port strikes. And we definitely landed in Mexico. That's good. You definitely come this way instead. Um, take the airbase so they can't use it. This, yeah, we're probably going to end up losing these divisions. That's unfortunate. Does anyone else... Did they make it back to... Oh, yeah. Go ahead and immediately throw you back onto this line. Alright. Not bad, not bad. One here. And then one here. So these guys can push up. So, actually, we have taken Baja, California, pretty much. Which is awesome. Throw on as much radar as possible. And we're going to need a lot of ports around here. Hopefully, the United States will not be able to push us back out. If they do, that'd be very, very, very unfortunate. Oh, they are attacking us. But they're not quite winning, which is awesome. Just don't attack us here around this area. And, I think... Oh! Some, I guess some of my divisions are using anti-tank, because these are all about anti-tank. Huh. Nice. Two more divisions sunk. Very good, very good, very good. Just don't lose it. I'm surprised they're not attacking the div area around LA. It seems like a actually a pretty good spot for us to... For them to attack, since I can't get supply in. But then again, this is the AI we are talking about here. Do that. Coast Guards. Yeah, I'm probably going to need you down here. There's a few divisions. Cool. As we finish off Baja California. Nice destroyer. Very good. Very, very good. This area is still a giant mess. Oof. Can you guys just win here, please, finally? Get rid of those Mexicans in there. Like, literal Mexicans. Good, good, good. Oh! One of our allies has actually invaded a port. Yeah, New Brunswick. Nice job, guys. Yeah, do that. Um, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, the Italian Union has invaded this area. Alright. It looks like East Germany took that part of Quebec. We're still holding strong in Alaska. Which is awesome. There's really nothing you can do up here, which really sucks. But, uh, yeah. I'm very surprised I haven't done anything around California. I mean, at this point, we're going to get a port in California. And they're definitely attacking us. Ooh. This is actually probably really good for grinding some uh, army XP if I still really needed it. But, you know, whatever. 
Now, right. I don't want to flood the area with too many divisions. Whatever those. Oh, you're actually trying to reinvade. Cool. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you're going to try to take San Diego. Interesting. Which isn't exactly next to <laughs> the tile next to LA, but well, close enough. Oh my goodness, they are really trying to attack us. But thankfully, under our level 8 general, we should be able to hold, even though... I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um, oh yeah, let's get some more of this. Do I want more special forces in total? Or just better special forces? Defense, organization... Well, I mean, I don't really need jungle mountaineers too much anymore, so let's go with just stronger ones. Let's go ahead and cut down on some of the uh, Polish divisions I'm making, which which were great, but I don't need nearly as many now. I'll do a production of guns. Very awesome. Can I nuke this? No, I cannot. Oh, we're going to need some serious air superiority, too. Do I have an air base? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Give me... This is going to kill the air supply here. But it'll be worth it in the end. D go up there and then give me a, a heavy fighter. Heavy bomber, I mean. Heavy bomber. Just one. Yes, yeah, so we can't take San Diego, which sucks, but, you know. Whatever. Yeah, we can't really take San Diego. But we have, like, supply through here, which doesn't make any sense, so... Go ahead and just come back to this area. You're probably going to get attacked until you all die. Um, I mean, they're attacking us like crazy now. They must... The Americans are like, oh my god, they actually invaded Mexico. Look, 27 divisions over here. Holy cow. We're actually probably going to lose this province. So, just in case... I, oh man, we're going to lose that uh, tile too. I can't afford to lose the airbase. No, don't lose it. No! Oh god, they're attack oh they're attacking even over here too. Oh my oh they just killed those divisions off. Holy crap. So that means alright, we lost quite a few guys. We're gonna lose the airbase. This invasion of part of the United States was not a wash. It's still not a wash yet. We still I basically figured that this would happen, so. No problem yet, no problem yet. Oh my goodness, they're just trying to melt the oh, they're attacking with fifty four divisions. Oh my goodness. The invasion of the United States is going to be one heck of a problem. Alright. Oh, we pushed it back out, and we're trying to defend, but we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. I'm going to call all 21 divisions over here to come into there. Oh, wait. Where is this coming from? Why are you over here? Huh. Kind of strange, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. Uh, over here in South America, how's it things going? Well, it looks like we can probably spare a few guys from here and send them down to here so we can invade Panama, which will be absolutely lovely. I heard it's a nice time of year. Nice time of the year to invade Panama. It's March. It's not too hot down there, hopefully. Even though it's probably really flipping hot all the time. So you guys, you guys come here. Do this. You guys, go ahead and surround Colombia. Because we'll definitely go to war with Colombia next. Very good. We got that part of Venezuela conquered. Done. Dusted with. Cool. At this point, I'm just going to use Mexico, this area in Mexico, as just kind of a defensive spot. I'm sure we're going to lose the airbase eventually, just because the Americans are crazy attacking us. Yeah, that's kind of, that's a lot of manpower still. And we can't really defend extremely well around here, but we'll definitely try our best. Uh, actually, don't do that, because that might, if, we, if you level up a tile to level 10 forts, the AI might actually recognize it and not attack you anymore. So, that's something to note, that even if you put, like, level 10 forts, they might not attack you. So, and you guys, the tanks are good to go whenever we have naval invasion support. And we are still justifying. Oh, three more days. All right, not bad, not bad. Nice, three more American destroyers. Very, very good. Yeah, this tile is extremely contested. Keep throwing more boys in there. And we can go to war with Panama. Great. Go to war with Panama. And then probably move our way up to Costa Rica and stuff like that. Ah, oh, I love late game lag. I oh, love it. Very nice. And we also still need to take out a lot of these Caribbean nations as well. So I haven't forgot about that, but we'll see what happens. 
And they haven't been able to take it yet, but we've been basically s s funneling soldiers b to and through and back and forth a whole lot. Oh my goodness. I mean, the United States casualties. A quarter million since the last time we checked it. Not bad, not bad. I mean, they really like this dirt patch. Vasile, you are becoming a level... Almost, not quite 9 yet, but you'll eventually get become level 9 eventually. Oh, they actually stopped attacking for once. Wow, can I actually build up a land port here, maybe? We might be getting... I doubt we're getting bombed, but you know what? I almost never use this stuff, so let's try to use it anyways. Oh, and they're attacking us once again. Can they actually pierce us? Yes. God dang it. Why can't they pierce us? I mean, this is going to be the, probably the biggest drain on Mexican and United States, you know, military supplies. Canada, not so much, but definitely down in Mexico. Definitely down there. And we have invaded Panama. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I love it. Just go right ahead, guys. Something tells me that the Panama Canal is going to be ours in the end. Um, there you go. And actually, you guys don't need to move. You really don't. Just kind of stand still, hang out, have a good time. Take the Panama Canal, please. Very nice. Soldiers are getting ready to invade Colombia. Go ahead and do this. They probably don't get a ton of supply through here, so... That'll be great. Poles? More Poles. Oh, God, yes, we need more Polish divisions since we lost all these guys. Oh, and they figured out that we have some planes around here. So, go ahead and take this off. And focus mostly down here. Oh, Panama decided to not join the Allies. Interesting. It's very weird. Well, regardless, they're lost. So, awesome. So, coasts. Oh, we already told them to basically do all this area. It's great. Basically, we'll have to do, probably do all of Mexico, or most of Mexico as well. Uh, don't do this area yet. I don't want them to try to break out and just waste supplies and whatnot, so. Do that. Do that. Remove yourselves from that area for now. Take... Um... You guys go ahead and repair. Great. Oh, that is a little laggy. You guys focus on helping take out Columbia. Because we take out Colombia, then we can move up to Central America, into the Caribbean, and into Florida. We're going to definitely attack the United States from a lot of different sides. Ooh, you guys are actually not doing super well over here. But regardless, that is all the time for we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We have done another naval invasion of the United States of America. Well, well, we tried it. But Operation Dehydration mostly landed us here in Mexico. So, and that's still okay with me. So, with that in mind... That's a lot of divisions. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. As, actually, I will go ahead and play a Lubus ahead of time. Just because I want to wait until these guys stop attacking me until they're all dead. Thank you very much for watching.